What's up, you guys? So today we're gonna be taking a purview on this package. I'm just kidding. We're not gonna be doing a purview on the package itself. We're gonna be taking be doing a purview on. Beast of the Mesozoic, Ceratops, and Siri, Triceratops, Horridus, Subadult. I'm pretty snuffly, so if I keep sniffling throughout this entire video, I'm sorry. So, I might do this review where I'm not as sniffly, but I gotta adjust the camera a bit. We can see the beautiful face of the Triceratops. Beast of the Mesozoic in red foil, pointing scaled, Triceratops Hordus, and here on the back there are all the other boys. I got a, I got a clay knife. Let's remove the sleeve, or we could just peel off the tape and not damage it. So, so, this is the sleeve, comes with a card, there's all the information about the dinosaur, the art is by Raul Ramos, but anyways, it's got all these ceratopsians from wave one, honor, the Zuni ceratops, Styracus, <laughs> Saurus, the Triceratops, which we're reviewing today, Chasmosaurus, Medusa Ceratops, Diaboceratops, Nasutoceratops, Protoceratops, and Cetacosaurus. This includes an articulate action figure, collectible profile card, and a color display back backdrop. And here's a Beautiful rendering of the Ceratopsian right there. And on the underside of the box, designed by David Silva, prototype was made by Jeremy Mons. The additional paint was by Matt Holt and Michael Whitworth and all the other boys. But anyways, let's finally break this out of the box. So, I'm trying to cut the tape, but a clay knife, a knife that's meant to cut clay is not going to do well as a real knife. We have the instructions. Step one and step two. And here's the card. It's front side and back side. It's basically just the sleeve, but except it's even more smaller and much more suitable version. So now we gotta cut this. Yeah, I'm using the clay knife because I know the clay knife won't damage the figure. And I don't want to damage it right out of the packaging. But I have damaged the BOTM figure upon opening it before. And if that was the Balor Bonduk. Not this particular Balor Bonduk. I actually got another one. But, yeah. I broke its leg upon opening it because I was stupid and didn't follow the rule. Although it's not a rule, but it's highly suggested unless you want to destroy a BOTM figure, which I don't even know why you would. You are a psychopath if you ever want to destroy a BOTM figure. This is probably not going to take it out. What it will do is stretch out the things to the extent 
so that way it can come out of the package. This thing is a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to be. I mean, just a tad bit. Triceratops are normally pretty big. Come on. Okay, so. Alright, got that out. We're already five minutes into the video. Alright, so... Oh, crap. The dreaded foot strap. That just damaged it. Not the ceratopsian, but my tool. But maybe if, uh, there's, there's already there's like two foot straps. I'm not complaining. I know they want to keep this thing secure, but whew, that was pretty loud. Now let's see if we can finally get him free and let him escape his prison. All right, so. Jeez, this thing's pretty heavy, to be honest. All right, so. How does the tail go on? Hmm. Well, I'm going to assume that this is the underside right here. But yeah, we got to heat the, we got to heat up the tail joint. Unless we want it to either break the dumbbell joint or possibly break my hand. I want to do a little bit of fun for this video. We want to do a half and half this. So, once this video reaches 7 minutes and 25 seconds. Alright, so now this should be easier to put on, and bam, it is. Now, alright, so. Hmm. Okay, so the, the torso is pretty strong. A little bit too strong. Okay, good. I was worried that the figure would break, but not this one. So it is pretty tight upon opening it, but it's kind of good, I guess. All right, so. There is unfortunately some paint splotches from the joint. But it's not too bad. Nothing to complain about. You know, I'm not going to be a Karen about it. So anyways, this is a pretty beautiful boy. And this is so beautiful. So yeah, the, the horns are very sharp. So... You probably don't want to give this to little children. In fact, this is recommended for ages 15 and up. But anyways, it's a pretty cool figure. Now, there really is only like one issue and that's about it. It's the way that the that the neck joints was designed. It makes it look super unnatural when it's posed upwards and downwards. It's kind of weird. See? You can't swivel it at all. Then it goes side to side. So yeah, the way that the neck is sculpted limits the range of it. But anyways, it appears that the tongue is articulated. But you're going to need something pretty small to... Okay, yeah, the tongue is articulated and it's pretty... It's kind of loose. Oh. I just realized that, did, that this didn't go on camera. So, 
the tongue is very loose on the inside of the of the dinosaur's mouth. And so, yeah, it's time to show the articulation. So the mouth can open and close. We already saw what the neck can do, so we don't really need to go into that again. The arms can move and pivot. Leg. This part of the leg can move and rotate. There's ball joint in every foot. And we got the torso articulation. Oh, we just popped the tail off. No! And the leg can move and pivot. I can hmm. the pattern on the on this thigh and that thigh is pretty different. Knee can move and rotate. The ankle can move and rotate and the foot can pose around. And the tail can also so a ball joint. Be but be wary because this will potentially pop off. So, um, yeah, that's the Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series Triceratops Subadult. And I really, really like this figure. So, anyways, that's really about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.